The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO, French, Organisation des Nations Unies pour l'Education, la science et la culture is a specialized agency of the United Nations UN based in Paris. Its declared purpose is to contribute to peace and security by promoting international collaboration through educational, scientific, and cultural reforms in order to increase universal respect for justice, the rule of law, and human rights along with fundamental freedom proclaimed in the United Nations Charter. It is the successor of the League of Nations International Committee on Intellectual Cooperation. UNESCO has 195 member states and 10 associate members. Most of its field offices are cluster offices covering three or more countries, national and regional offices also exist. UNESCO pursues its objectives through five major programs, education, natural sciences, social, human sciences, culture and communication, information. Projects sponsored by UNESCO include literacy, technical, and teacher training programs, international science programs, the promotion of independent media and freedom of the press, regional and cultural history projects, the promotion of cultural diversity, translations of world literature, international cooperation agreements to secure the world's cultural and natural heritage, world heritage sites, and to preserve human rights, and attempts to bridge the worldwide digital divide. It is also a member of the United Nations Development Group. UNESCO's aim is to contribute to the building of peace, the eradication of poverty, sustainable development, and intercultural dialogue through education, the sciences, culture, communication, and information. Other priorities of the organization include attaining quality education for all and lifelong learning, addressing emerging social and ethical challenges, fostering cultural diversity, a culture of peace and building inclusive knowledge societies through information and communication, the broad goals and objectives of the international community. As set out in the internationally agreed development goals, including the Millennium Development Goals MDGs, underpin all UNESCO strategies and activities. History UNESCO and its mandate for international cooperation can be traced back to a League of Nations resolution on 21 September 1921, to elect a commission to study feasibility. On 18 December 1925, the International Bureau of Education began work as a non-governmental organization in the service of international educational development. However, the onset of World War II largely interrupted the work of these predecessor organizations. After the signing of the Atlantic Charter and the Declaration of the United Nations, the Conference of Allied Ministers of Education came began meetings in London which continued from 16 November 1942 to 5 December 1945. On 30 October 1943, the necessity for an international organization was expressed in the Moscow Declaration, agreed upon by China, the United Kingdom, the United States and the USSR. This was followed by the Dumbarton Oaks Conference proposals of 9 October 1944. Upon the proposal of CAME and in accordance with the recommendations of the United Nations Conference on International Organization UNCIO, held in San Francisco in April–June 1945, a United Nations Conference for the Establishment of an Educational and Cultural Organization ECO, CONF, was convened in London 1–16 November 1945 with 44 governments represented. The idea of UNESCO was largely developed by Rab Butler, the Minister of Education for the United Kingdom, who had a great deal of influence in its development. At the ECO, CONF, the constitution of UNESCO was introduced and signed by 37 countries, and a preparatory commission was established. The Preparatory Commission operated between 16 November 1945, and 4 November 1946, the date when UNESCO's constitution came into force with the deposit of the 20th ratification by a member state, the first general conference took place from 19 November to 10 December 1946, and elected Dr. Julian Huxley to Director General. The constitution was amended in November 1954 when the general conference resolved that members of the executive board would be representatives of the governments of the states of which they are nationals and would not, as before, act in their personal capacity. This change in governance distinguished UNESCO from its predecessor, the CC, in how member states would work together in the organization's fields of competence. 
As member states work together over time to realize UNESCO's mandate, political and historical factors have shaped the organization's operations in particular during the Cold War, the decolonization process, and the dissolution of the USSR. Among the major achievements of the organization is its work against racism, for example through influential statements on race starting with a declaration of anthropologists among them was Claude Lévy-Strauss and other scientists in 1950 and concluding with the 1978 Declaration on Race and Racial Prejudice. In 1956, the Republic of South Africa withdrew from UNESCO claiming that some of the organization's publications amounted to interference in the country's racial problems. South Africa rejoined the organization in 1994 under the leadership of Nelson Mandela. UNESCO's early work in the field of education included the pilot project on fundamental education in the Marbeil Valley, Haiti, started in 1947. This project was followed by expert missions to other countries, including, for example, a mission to Afghanistan in 1949. In 1948, UNESCO recommended that member states should make free primary education compulsory and universal. In 1990, the World Conference on Education for All, in Jiangshan, Thailand, launched a global movement to provide basic education for all children, youths and adults. Ten years later, the 2000 World Education Forum held in Dakar, Senegal, led member governments to commit to achieving basic education for all by 2015. UNESCO's early activities in culture included, for example, the Nubia Campaign, launched in 1960. The purpose of the campaign was to move the Great Temple of Abu Simbel to keep it from being swamped by the Nile after construction of the Aswan Dam. During the 20-year campaign, 22 monuments and architectural complexes were relocated. This was the first and largest in a series of campaigns including Mohenjo-daro, Pakistan, Fez, Morocco, Kathmandu, Nepal, Borobudur, Indonesia, and the Acropolis, Greece. The organization's work on heritage led to the adoption in 1972 of the Convention Concerning the Protection of the World Cultural and Natural Heritage. The World Heritage Committee was established in 1976 and the first sites inscribed on the World Heritage List in 1978. Since then important legal instruments on cultural heritage and diversity have been adopted by UNESCO member states in 2003 Convention for the Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage and 2005 Convention on the Protection and Promotion of the Diversity of Cultural Expressions. An intergovernmental meeting of UNESCO in Paris in December 1951 led to the creation of the European Council for Nuclear Research, which was responsible for establishing the European Organization for Nuclear Research in 1954. Arid Zone Programming, 1948-1966, is another example of an early major UNESCO project in the field of natural sciences. In 1968, UNESCO organized the first intergovernmental conference aimed at reconciling the environment and development, a problem which continues to be addressed in the field of sustainable development. The main outcome of the 1968 conference was the creation of UNESCO's MAN and the Biosphere Program, in the field of communication, the free flow of ideas by word and image has been in UNESCO's constitution from its beginnings, following the experience of the Second World War when control of information was a factor in indoctrinating populations for aggression. In the years immediately following World War II, efforts were concentrated on reconstruction and on the identification of needs for means of mass communication around the world. UNESCO started organizing training and education for journalists in the 1950s. In response to calls for a New World Information and Communication Order. In the late 1970s, UNESCO established the International Commission for the Study of Communication Problems, which produced the 1980 McBride Report named after the chair of the commission, the Nobel Peace Prize laureate Sean McBride. The same year, UNESCO created the International Program for the Development of Communication IPDC, a multilateral forum designed to promote media development in developing countries. In 1991, UNESCO's General Conference endorsed the Windhoek Declaration on Media Independence and Pluralism, which led the UN General Assembly to declare the date of its adoption, 3 May, as World Press Freedom Day. Since 1997, UNESCO has awarded the UNESCO – Guillermo Cano World Press Freedom Prize every 3 May. 
In the lead up to the World Summit on the Information Society in 2003 Geneva and 2005 Tunis, UNESCO introduced the Information for All program. UNESCO admitted Palestine as a member in 2011. Laws passed in the United States in 1990 and 1994 mean that it cannot contribute financially to any UN organization that accepts Palestine as a full member. As a result, it withdrew its funding which accounted for about 22% of UNESCO's budget. Israel also reacted to Palestine's admittance to UNESCO by freezing Israel payments to the UNESCO and imposing sanctions to the Palestinian Authority, claiming that Palestine's admittance would be detrimental to potential peace talks. Two years after they stopped paying their dues to UNESCO, U.S. and Israel lost UNESCO voting rights in 2013 without losing the right to be elected. Thus, the U.S. was elected as a member of the executive board for the period 2016 to 19. Topic: Activities. UNESCO implements its activities through the five program areas, education, natural sciences, social and human sciences, culture, and communication and information. Education, UNESCO supports research in comparative education, and provide expertise and fosters partnerships to strengthen national educational leadership and the capacity of countries to offer quality education for all. This includes the UNESCO Chairs, an international network of 644 UNESCO Chairs, involving over 770 institutions in 126 countries. Environmental Conservation Organization Convention Against Discrimination in Education adopted in 1960 Organization of the International Conference on Adult Education in an interval of 12 years Publication of the Education for All Global Monitoring Report Publication of the Four Pillars of Learning Seminal Document UNESCO ASPNET, an international network of 8,000 schools in 170 countries, UNESCO does not accredit institutions of higher learning. UNESCO also issues public statements to educate the public. Seville Statement on Violence, a statement adopted by UNESCO in 1989 to refute the notion that humans are biologically predisposed to organized violence. Designating projects and places of cultural and scientific significance, such as Global Geoparks Network Biosphere Reserves, through the Program on Man and the Biosphere MAB, since 1971 City of Literature, in 2007, the first city to be given this title was Edinburgh, the site of Scotland's first circulating library. In 2008, Iowa City, Iowa became the City of Literature. Endangered Languages and Linguistic Diversity Projects Masterpieces of the Oral and Intangible Heritage of Humanity Memory of the World International Register, since 1997 Water Resources Management, through the International Hydrological Program IHP, since 1965 World Heritage Sites World Digital Library Encouraging the free flow of ideas by images and words by Promoting freedom of expression, including freedom of the press and freedom of information legislation, through the Division of Freedom of Expression and Media Development, including the International Program for the Development of Communication. Promoting the safety of journalists and combating impunity for those who attack them, through coordination of the UN Plan of Action on the Safety of Journalists and the Issue of Impunity. Promoting universal access to and preservation of information and open solutions for sustainable development through the Knowledge Societies Division, including the Memory of the World Program and Information for All Program. Promoting pluralism, gender equality and cultural diversity in the media. Promoting Internet universality and its principles, that the Internet should be I, human rights-based, e, open, e, accessible to all, and I, v, nurtured by multi-stakeholder participation summarized as the acronym ROAM. Generating knowledge through publications such as World Trends in Freedom of Expression and Media Development, the UNESCO Series on Internet Freedom, and the Media Development Indicators, as well as other indicator-based studies. Promoting events, such as International Decade for the Promotion of a Culture of Peace and Non-Violence for the Children of the World, 2001-2010, proclaimed by the UN in 1998 
World Press Freedom Day, the 3rd of May each year, to promote freedom of expression and freedom of the press as a basic human right and as crucial components of any healthy, democratic and free society. Crianca Esperança in Brazil, in partnership with Reed Globo, to raise funds for community-based projects that foster social integration and violence prevention. International Literacy Day International Year for the Culture of Peace Health Education for Behavior Change Program in partnership with the Ministry of Education of Kenya which was financially supported by the government of Azerbaijan to promote health education among 10 to 19 year old young people who live in informal camp in Kibera, Nairobi. The project was carried out between September 2014 to December 2016. Founding and funding projects, such as Migration Museums Initiative, promoting the establishment of museums for cultural dialogue with migrant populations. UNESCO CEPES, the European Centre for Higher Education, established in 1972 in Bucharest, Romania, as a decentralised office to promote international cooperation in higher education in Europe as well as Canada, USA and Israel. Higher Education in Europe is its official journal. Free Software Directory. Since 1998, UNESCO and the Free Software Foundation have jointly funded this project cataloging free software. Fresh focusing resources on effective school health. ONA, Organization of Asia Pacific News Agencies, International Council of Science, UNESCO Goodwill Ambassadors, ASOMPS, Asian Symposium on Medicinal Plants and Spices, a series of scientific conferences held in Asia Botany 2000, a program supporting taxonomy, and biological and cultural diversity of medicinal and ornamental plants, and their protection against environmental pollution The UNESCO Collection of Representative Works, translating works of world literature both to and from multiple languages, from 1948 to 2005 UNESCO, an umbrella of initiatives to make heritage funds supported by UNESCO, New Delhi Office The UNESCO Transparency Portal has been designed to enable public access to information regarding organizations' activities, such as its aggregate budget for a biennium, as well as links to relevant programmatic and financial documents. These two distinct sets of information are published on the IATI registry, respectively based on the IATI Activity Standard and the IATI Organization Standard. There have been proposals to establish two new UNESCO lists. The first proposed list will focus on movable cultural heritage such as artifacts, paintings, and biofacts. The list may include cultural objects, such as the Jomon Venus of Japan, the Mona Lisa of France, the Gebel el Iraq knife of Egypt, the Ninth Wave of Russia, the Seated Woman of Katalhoyuk of Turkey, the David Michelangelo of Italy, the Matura Heracles of India, the Manungul Jar of the Philippines, the Crown of Bekya of South Korea, the Hay Wayne of the United Kingdom and the Benin Bronzes of Nigeria. The second proposed list will focus on the world's living species, such as the Komodo dragon of Indonesia, the panda of China, the bald eagle of North American countries, the eye-eye of Madagascar, the Asiatic lion of India, the kakapo of New Zealand, and the mountain tapir of Colombia, Ecuador and Peru. Media UNESCO and its specialized institutions issue a number of magazines. The UNESCO Courier magazine states its mission to "...promote UNESCO's ideals, maintain a platform for the dialogue between cultures and provide a forum for international debate." Since March 2006 it is available online, with limited printed issues. Its articles express the opinions of the authors which are not necessarily the opinions of UNESCO. There was a hiatus in publishing between 2012 and 2017. In 1950, UNESCO initiated the Quarterly Review Impact of Science on Society, also known as Impact, to discuss the influence of science on society. The journal ceased publication in 1992. UNESCO also published Museum International Quarterly from the year 1948. Topic Official UNESCO NGOs UNESCO has official relations with 322 international non-governmental organizations NGOs. Most of these are what UNESCO calls operational. A select few are formal.
The highest form of affiliation to UNESCO is formal associate, and the 22 NGOs with formal associate ASC relations occupying offices at UNESCO are. Topic: <laughs> Institutes and centers. The institutes are specialized departments of the organization that support UNESCO's program, providing specialized support for cluster and national offices. Prizes UNESCO awards 22 prizes in education, science, culture and peace. Félix Houphouet Boigny Peace Prize L'Oréal UNESCO Awards for Women in Science UNESCO – King Sejong Literacy Prize UNESCO – Confucius Prize for Literacy UNESCO – Amir Jaber al Ahmad al Jaber al Sabah Prize to promote quality education for persons with intellectual disabilities UNESCO – King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa Prize for the use of information and communication technologies in education UNESCO – Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum Prize for Outstanding Practice and Performance in Enhancing the Effectiveness of Teachers UNESCO – Kalinga Prize for the Popularization of Science UNESCO – Institute Pasteur Medal for an Outstanding Contribution to the Development of Scientific Knowledge that has a Beneficial Impact on Human Health UNESCO – Sultan Qaboos Prize for Environmental Preservation Great Man Made River International Water Prize for Water Resources in Arid Zones presented by UNESCO title to be reconsidered Michel Batisse Award for Biosphere Reserve Management UNESCO – Bilbao Prize for the Promotion of a Culture of Human Rights UNESCO Prize for Peace Education UNESCO – Madanjeet Singh Prize for the Promotion of Tolerance and Non-Violence UNESCO – International Jose Marti Prize UNESCO – Avicenna Prize for Ethics in Science UNESCO – Juan Bosch Prize for the Promotion of Social Science Research in Latin America and the Caribbean Sharjah Prize for Arab Culture Molina Mercouri International Prize for the Safeguarding and Management of Cultural Landscapes UNESCO Greece IPDC UNESCO Prize for Rural Communication UNESCO – Guillermo Cano World Press Freedom Prize UNESCO – Jichi Memory of the World Prize UNESCO – Equatorial Guinea International Prize for Research in the Life Sciences Carlos J. Finley Prize for Microbiology Inactive prizes International Simone Bolivar Prize inactive since 2004 UNESCO Prize for Human Rights Education UNESCO – Obiang Nguema Mbesogo International Prize for Research in the Life Sciences inactive since 2010 UNESCO Prize for the Promotion of the Arts International Days Observed at UNESCO International Days Observed at UNESCO is provided in the table given below. Member states UNESCO counts 195 member states and 10 associate members. Some members are not independent states and some members have additional national organizing committees from some of their dependent territories. UNESCO state parties are the United Nations member states except Liechtenstein, Cook Islands, Niue, and the State of Palestine. The USA and Israel plan to leave UNESCO on 31 December 2018 over purported anti-Israel bias. Governing bodies Director General There has been no elected UNESCO Director General from Southeast Asia, South Asia, Central and North Asia, Middle East, North Africa, East Africa, Central Africa, South Africa, Australia Oceania, and South America since inception. 
The director generals of UNESCO came from West Europe 5, Central America 1, North America 2, West Africa 1, East Asia 1, and East Europe 1. Out of the 11 director generals since inception, women have held the position only twice. Qatar, the Philippines, and Iran are proposing for a director general bid by 2021 or 2025. There have never been a Middle Eastern or Southeast Asian UNESCO director general since inception. The ASEAN bloc and some Pacific and Latin American nations support the possible bid of the Philippines, which is culturally Asian, Oceanic, and Latin. Qatar and Iran, on the other hand, have fragmented support in the Middle East. Egypt, Israel, and Madagascar are also vying for the position but have yet to express a direct or indirect proposal. Both Qatar and Egypt lost in the 2017 bid against France. The list of the Directors General of UNESCO since its establishment in 1946 is as follows. Topic: General Conference. This is the list of the sessions of the UNESCO General Conference held since 1946. Topic: Executive Board. Topic. Offices and headquarters UNESCO headquarters are located at Place de Fontenoy in Paris, France. UNESCO's field offices across the globe are categorized into four primary office types based upon their function and geographic coverage, cluster offices, national offices, regional bureaus and liaison offices. Field offices by region The following list of all UNESCO field offices is organized geographically by UNESCO region and identifies the members states and associate members of UNESCO which are served by each office. Africa Abidjan – National Office to Côte d'Ivoire Abuja, National Office to Nigeria Accra, Cluster Office for Benin, Côte d'Ivoire, Ghana, Liberia, Nigeria, Sierra Leone and Togo Addis Ababa, Liaison Office with the African Union and with the Economic Commission for Africa Bamako, Cluster Office for Burkina Faso, Guinea, Mali and Niger Brazzaville, National Office to the Republic of the Congo Bujumbura, National Office to Burundi Dakar, Regional Bureau for Education in Africa and Cluster Office for Cape Verde, Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, and Senegal Dar es Salaam, Cluster Office for Comoros, Madagascar, Mauritius, Seychelles and Tanzania Harare, Cluster Office for Botswana, Malawi, Mozambique, Zambia and Zimbabwe Juba, National Office to South Sudan Kinshasa, National Office to the Democratic Republic of the Congo Libreville – Cluster Office for the Republic of the Congo, Democratic Republic of the Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon and Sao Tome and Principe Maputo – National Office to Mozambique Nairobi – Regional Bureau for Sciences in Africa and Cluster Office for Burundi, Djibouti, Eritrea, Kenya, Rwanda, Somalia, South Sudan and Uganda Windhoek – National Office to Namibia Yaoundé Cluster Office to Cameroon, Central African Republic and Chad <inaudible> Arab states Amman, National Office to Jordan Beirut, Regional Bureau for Education in the Arab states and Cluster Office to Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, Iraq and Palestine Cairo – Regional Bureau for Sciences in the Arab States and Cluster Office for Egypt, Libya and Sudan Doha – Cluster Office to Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates and Yemen Iraq – National Office for Iraq currently located in Amman, Jordan Khartoum – National Office to Sudan Manama – Arab Regional Center for World Heritage Rabat – Cluster Office to Algeria, Mauritania, Morocco and Tunisia Ramallah – National Office to the Palestinian Territories Asia and Pacific 
Apia, Cluster Office to Australia, Cook Islands, Fiji, Kiribati, Marshall Islands, Federated States of Micronesia, Nauru, New Zealand, Niue, Palau, Papua New Guinea, Samoa, Solomon Islands, Tonga, Tuvalu, Vanuatu and Tokelau Associate Member Bangkok – Regional Bureau for Education in Asia and the Pacific and Cluster Office to Thailand, Burma, Laos, Singapore and Vietnam Beijing – Cluster Office to North Korea, Japan, Mongolia, the People's Republic of China and South Korea Dhaka – National Office to Bangladesh Hanoi – National Office to Vietnam Islamabad – National Office to Pakistan Jakarta – Regional Bureau for Sciences in Asia and the Pacific and Cluster Office to the Philippines, Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, and East Timor Manila – National Office to the Philippines Kabul – National Office to Afghanistan Kathmandu – National Office to Nepal New Delhi – Cluster Office to Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Maldives and Sri Lanka Phnom Penh – National Office to Cambodia Tashkent – National Office to Uzbekistan Tehran – Cluster Office to Afghanistan, Iran, Pakistan and Turkmenistan Europe and North America Almaty – Cluster Office to Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan Brussels – Liaison Office to the European Union and its subsidiary bodies in Brussels Geneva – Liaison Office to the United Nations in Geneva New York City – Liaison Office to the United Nations in New York Moscow – Cluster Office to Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Moldova and Russia Venice – Regional Bureau for Sciences and Culture in Europe <laughs> Latin America and the Caribbean Brasilia – National Office to Brazil Guatemala City – National Office to Guatemala Havana – Regional Bureau for Culture in Latin America and the Caribbean and Cluster Office to Cuba, Dominican Republic, Haiti and Aruba Kingston – Cluster Office to Antigua and Barbuda, Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, Dominica, Grenada, Guyana, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Suriname and Trinidad and Tobago as well as the associate member states of British Virgin Islands, Cayman Islands, Curaçao and St. Martin Lima – National Office to Peru Mexico City – National Office to Mexico Montevideo – Regional Bureau for Sciences in Latin America and the Caribbean and Cluster Office to Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Paraguay and Uruguay Port-au-Prince – National Office to Haiti Quito – Cluster Office to Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador and Venezuela San Jose Cluster Office to Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua and Panama Santiago de Chile – Regional Bureau for Education in Latin America and the Caribbean and National Office to Chile Controversies New World Information and Communication Order UNESCO has been the center of controversy in the past, particularly in its relationships with the United States, the United Kingdom, Singapore and the former Soviet Union. During the 1970s and 1980s, UNESCO's support for a New World Information and Communication Order and its McBride report calling for democratization of the media and more egalitarian access to information was condemned in these countries as attempts to curb freedom of the press. UNESCO was perceived as a platform for communists and third world dictators to attack the West, in contrast to accusations made by the USSR in the late 1940s and early 1950s. In 1984, the United States withheld its contributions and withdrew from the organization in protest, followed by the United Kingdom in 1985. Singapore withdrew also at the end of 1985, citing rising membership fees. Following a change of government in 1997, the UK rejoined. The United States rejoined in 2003, followed by Singapore on 8 October 2007. Israel 
Israel was admitted to UNESCO in 1949, one year after its creation. Israel has maintained its membership since 1949. In 2010, Israel designated the Cave of the Patriarchs, Hebron and Rachel's Tomb, Bethlehem as national heritage sites and announced restoration work, prompting criticism from the United States and protests from Palestinians. In October 2010, UNESCO's executive board voted to declare the sites as Al-Haram Al-Ibrahimi, Tomb of the Patriarchs, and Bilal bin Rabah Mosque, Rachel's Tomb, and stated that they were an integral part of the occupied Palestinian territories", and any unilateral Israeli action was a violation of international law. UNESCO described the sites as significant to "...people of the Muslim, Christian and Jewish traditions", and accused Israel of highlighting only the Jewish character of the sites. Israel in turn accused UNESCO of "...detaching the nation of Israel from its heritage", and accused it of being politically motivated. The rabbi of the Western Wall claimed that Rachel's tomb had not previously been declared a holy Muslim site. Israel partially suspended ties with UNESCO. Israeli Deputy Foreign Minister Danny Ayalon declared that the resolution was a part of Palestinian escalation. Zevulin Orlov, chairman of the Knesset Education and Culture Committee, referred to the resolutions as an attempt to undermine the mission of UNESCO as a scientific and cultural organization that promotes cooperation throughout the world. On the 28th of June 2011, UNESCO's World Heritage Committee, at Jordan's insistence, censured Israel's decision to demolish and rebuild the Mugrabi Gate Bridge in Jerusalem for safety reasons. Israel stated that Jordan had signed an agreement with Israel stipulating that the existing bridge must be dismantled for safety reasons. Jordan disputed the agreement, saying that it was only signed under U.S. pressure. Israel was also unable to address the UNESCO Committee over objections from Egypt. In January 2014, days before it was scheduled to open, UNESCO Director General, Irina Bakova, indefinitely postponed and effectively cancelled an exhibit created by the Simon Wiesenthal Center entitled the people, the book, the land, the 3,500-year relationship between the Jewish people and the land of Israel." The event was scheduled to run from 21 January through 30 January in Paris. Bakova cancelled the event after representatives of Arab states at UNESCO argued that its display would "...harm the peace process." The author of the exhibition, Professor Robert Wistrich of the Hebrew University's Vidal Sassoon International Center for the Study of Antisemitism, called the cancellation an appalling act, and characterized Bokova's decision as an arbitrary act of total cynicism and, really, contempt for the Jewish people and its history. UNESCO amended the decision to cancel the exhibit within the year, and it quickly achieved popularity and was viewed as a great success. Topic. Occupied Palestine Resolution On 13 October 2016, UNESCO passed a resolution on East Jerusalem that condemned Israel for aggressions by Israeli police and soldiers and illegal measures against the freedom of worship and Muslims' access to their holy sites, while also recognizing Israel as the occupying power. Palestinian leaders welcomed the decision. While the text acknowledged the importance of the old city of Jerusalem and its walls for the three monotheistic religions." It referred to the sacred hilltop compound in Jerusalem's old city only by its Muslim name, Al-Haram Al-Sharif, Arabic for Noble Sanctuary. In response, Israel denounced the UNESCO resolution for its omission of the words, Temple Mount, or Har Habayat, stating that it denies Jewish ties to the key holy site. After receiving criticism from numerous Israeli politicians and diplomats, including Benjamin Netanyahu and Ayelet Shaked, Israel froze all ties with the organization. The resolution was condemned by Ban Ki-moon and the Director General of UNESCO, Irina Bakova, who said that Judaism, Islam and Christianity have clear historical connections to Jerusalem and to deny, conceal or erase any of the Jewish, Christian or Muslim traditions undermines the integrity of the site. Al-Aqsa Mosque is also Temple Mount, whose western wall is the holiest place in Judaism." It was also rejected by the Czech parliament which said the resolution reflects a "...hateful anti-Israel sentiment," and hundreds of Italian Jews demonstrated in Rome over Italy's abstention. 
On 26 October, UNESCO approved a reviewed version of the resolution, which also criticized Israel for its continuous refusal to let the body's experts access Jerusalem's holy sites to determine their conservation status. Despite containing some softening of language following Israeli protests over a previous version, Israel continued to denounce the text. The resolution refers to the site Jews and Christians refer to as the Temple Mount, or Har Habayat in Hebrew, only by its Arab name. A significant semantic decision also adopted by UNESCO's executive board, triggering condemnation from Israel and its allies. U.S. Ambassador Crystal Nix Hines stated, This item should have been defeated. These politicized and one-sided resolutions are damaging the credibility of UNESCO. In October 2017, the United States and Israel announced they would withdraw from the organization, citing in part anti-Israel bias. Topic: <laughs> Palestine. Topic: <laughs> Palestinian Youth Magazine Controversy In February 2011, an article was published in a Palestinian youth magazine in which a teenage girl described one of her four role models as Adolf Hitler. In December 2011, UNESCO, which partly funded the magazine, condemned the material and subsequently withdrew support. Islamic University of Gaza controversy In 2012, UNESCO decided to establish a chair at the Islamic University of Gaza in the field of astronomy, astrophysics, and space sciences, fueling controversy and criticism. Israel bombed the school in 2008 claiming they develop and store weapons there, a claim Israel restated in criticizing UNESCO's move. The head, Kamalain Shoth, defended UNESCO, stating that the Islamic University is a purely academic university that is interested only in education and its development." Israeli ambassador to UNESCO Nimrod Barkhan planned to submit a letter of protest with information about the university's ties to Hamas, especially angry that this was the first Palestinian university that UNESCO chose to cooperate with. The Jewish organization B'nai B'rith criticized the move as well. WikiLeaks On 16 and 17 February 2012, UNESCO held a conference entitled, The Media World After WikiLeaks and News of the World. Despite all six panels being focused on WikiLeaks, no member of WikiLeaks staff was invited to speak. After receiving a complaint from WikiLeaks spokesman Christine Haranson, UNESCO invited him to attend, but did not offer a place on any panels. The offer also came only a week before the conference, which was held in Paris, France. Many of the speakers featured, including David Lee and Heather Brooke, had spoken out openly against WikiLeaks and its founder Julian Assange in the past. WikiLeaks released a press statement on 15 February 2012 denouncing UNESCO which stated, UNESCO has made itself an international human rights joke. To use freedom of expression to censor WikiLeaks from a conference about WikiLeaks is an Orwellian absurdity beyond words. Topic: <laughs> Che Guevara. In 2013, UNESCO announced that the collection, The Life and Works of Ernesto Che Guevara, became part of the Memory of the World Register. U.S. Congresswoman Ileana Rose Leitonen condemned this decision, saying that the organization acts against its own ideals. This decision is more than an insult to the families of those Cubans who were lined up and summarily executed by Che and his merciless cronies but it also serves as a direct contradiction to the UNESCO ideals of encouraging peace and universal respect for human rights. UN Watch also condemned this selection by UNESCO. Topic. Listing Nanjing Massacre documents In 2015, Japan threatened to halt funding for UNESCO over the organization's decision to include documents relating to the 1937 Nanjing Massacre in the latest listing for its ''Memory of the World'' program. 
In October 2016, Japanese Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida confirmed that Japan's 2016 annual funding of 4.4 billion yen had been suspended although denied any direct link with the Nanjing document controversy. U.S. withdrawals After withdrawing from UNESCO in 1984, the United States rejoined January 10, 2003. Former U.S. Congressman Jim Leach stated before a congressional subcommittee, the reasons for the withdrawal of the United States from UNESCO in 1984 are well known. My view is that we overreacted to the calls of some who wanted to radicalize UNESCO, and the calls of others who wanted the United States to lead in emasculating the UN system. The fact is, UNESCO is one of the least dangerous international institutions ever created. While some member countries within UNESCO attempted to push journalistic views antithetical to the values of the West, and engage in Israel bashing, UNESCO itself never adopted such radical postures. The U.S. opted for empty chair diplomacy, after winning, not losing, the battles we engaged in, it was nuts to get out, and would be nuttier not to rejoin. He concluded that the record showed Israel bashing, a call for a new world information order, money management, and arms control policy to be the impetus behind the withdrawal. He asserted that before the UNESCO withdrawal, a withdrawal from the IAEA had been pushed on him. The United States rejoined UNESCO shortly thereafter. On 12 October 2017, the United States notified UNESCO that it will again withdraw from the organization on 31 December 2018 and will seek to establish a permanent observer mission beginning in 2019. The Department of State cited, "...mounting arrears at UNESCO, the need for fundamental reform in the organization, and continuing anti-Israel bias at UNESCO." The United States has not paid its $80 million annual UNESCO dues since Palestine became a full member in 2011. Israel and the U.S. were among only 14 votes against the membership, of 194 member countries. <laughs> Turkish-Kurdish conflict On May 25, 2016, the noted Turkish poet and human rights activist Zulfu Lavaneli resigned as Turkey's only UNESCO goodwill ambassador. He highlighted human rights situation in Turkey and destruction of historical Sur district of Diyarbakir, the largest city in Kurdish majority southeast Turkey, during fighting between the Turkish army and Kurdish militants as the main reasons for his resignation. Lavanelli said, to pontificate on peace while remaining silent against such violations is a contradiction of the fundamental ideals of UNESCO. <laughs> Products or services UNESDOC, contains over 146,000 UNESCO documents in full text published since 1945 as well as metadata from the collections of the UNESCO Library and Documentation Centers in field offices and institutes. <laughs> Information processing tools UNESCO develops, maintains and disseminates, free of charge, two interrelated software packages for database management CDs, ISIS, not to be confused with UK police software package ISIS and data mining, statistical analysis IDAMS. CDs, ISIS, a generalized information storage and retrieval system. The Windows version may run on a single computer or in a local area network. The Javisys client – server components allow remote database management over the Internet and are available for Windows, Linux and Macintosh. Furthermore, Genesis allows the user to produce HTML web forms for CDs – ISIS database searching. The ISIS underscore DLL provides an API for developing CDs – ISIS-based applications. OpenIDMS, a software package for processing and analyzing numerical data developed, maintained and disseminated by UNESCO. The original package was proprietary but UNESCO has initiated a project to provide it as open source. IDIS, a tool for direct data exchange between CDs, ISIS and IDAMS. See also Academic Mobility Network 
UNESCO Reclining Figure 1957-58, sculpture by Henry Moore Wikiproject UNESCO